Greetings, folks, and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. Let me look here at the moon, following the Earth, and its lovely celestial dance. But um, as you can probably tell by the title, I can't, I'm not sure exactly what I've titled the video at, at this moment in time. But I'm curious to know if possibly either we can destroy or deflect the moon towards the Earth with a pretty large bombardment, as you can see here, of uh, asteroids, random Random asteroids, relatively small, uh, varying masses, varying diameters, but um, they're traveling, decent speed. Maybe there was a colossal explosion way back um, in in history, and uh, maybe there was a massive, massive planetary body that broke up, hence why everything is so clustered together. Normally, over time, they would spread out gradually, but... Um, Something in this scenario has kept these asteroids together and uh, they're about to impact the moon and um, I'm just wondering can we destroy it actually that is the question Now I know a lot of these are going to be kind of I have them layered over each other because I was just like kind of scattergunning them going bang, 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 bang. So There's gonna be no big issue here they're just going to combine. There's a lot. I don't know how many. I don't know how many we're talking about here. You can see them. <laughs> They're already going boom. So. This is going to be interesting, to say the least. I hope it's going to be. Because they're going to come in pretty fast. I had them set at about 20 to 25 kilometers. I'm expecting these things to have happened over uh, a long time ago and have been slowly gathering um, in velocity. What's going on back here? Show me, show me, show me, show me. What am I missing? That was my... It's just happening very slowly. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try and keep my focus up here. Hopefully that rumble isn't too much. So let's speed things up a little bit here. We don't need to kind of see it inching along. But uh, the moon is going to be in for a rude awakening. Sim speed looks okay. Uh, I think the game's been captured kind of around 20 frames a second, so it's a bit juddery. Weave a lot. It's kind of almost like a, a focused shotgun. Now, I don't know. I think the moon will have been battered a lot, but I don't know if we're going to have the force to adjust it, really. But if this doesn't work, let me know in the comments below what you would do differently, and I may revisit this. So here we go. And there's a lot of force coming down on the moon here. I'm looking at the moon's speed. Like, I want one or two things to happen. Either we can actually destroy the moon, which I don't know if this game can simulate, or we affect its speed to direct it towards the Earth. I can already see we're affecting its rotation. So, I'm looking at its speed here as well. 18.6 kilometers. Hmm. This is where I would like orbit simulation. Um, predictive orbit simulation to come in. Uh, let's hit view orbits here. We're not seeing an orbit of the moon. There's a lot of crazy orbits going on with these guys here, but they're all going to just end up going into the moon anyway. And there's still a lot to go. <laughs> there is still a lot to go. So let's turn off orbits for a second. We'll put on trails. I 
I've done a lot to the moon, but I haven't been this violent to the moon before. These guys don't look like they're going to be heading towards the moon. But we have turned the moon into basically hell at the moment. Let's speed up things a little bit. We've definitely hit a rotation on uh, impact anyway. Look at the moon's 9300 degrees. We've got some random bodies here. Uh, they'll be too far away from Earth, I'd say. Well, imagine watching this happening to the moon. We hit a lot of them. There's a big one coming in here now. Oh! What happened there? Oh, the moon is still there. It's just freaking uh, crazy hot. Look at all this. This will be the last part of the impact here. Okay. So, let us speed up time. Oh, look where the moon is. <laughs> we missed, we missed the Earth though. <laughs> it, it did what I wanted it to do, but it missed the Earth. We have uh, just dislodged the moon. Oh, look at the Earth gets handed to it. Ouch. Okay. See ya! <laughs> Maybe we didn't need as much impact. Basically, we were like playing pool. So long. Gotta hang out with the moon here for a bit. Have you cooled yet? Still so hot. Oh, look at that. That's dynamic, isn't it? Black. I should say, I think that's a lighting anomaly. But uh, we've seen that before. So with better target practice, we could propel the moon into the Earth. And the poor old Earth. Without a moon... Bad times, <laughs> as you can see. It was pebble dashed, wasn't it? Poor old Earth. Anyway, uh, thanks for your suggestions as always. I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep them coming. And uh, listen, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video. So take it easy. And uh, goodbye. <laughs>